So we got the brand new patch notes for 1.6. The official patch notes are here. I want to stress something before we go into this video. Uh, make sure that if you ever watch any leak videos or any information about leaks going forward, uh, all leaks are always subjective. You don't know what's going to happen. So uh, some of the things that may have become from 1.6 leaks, 1.7 leaks, whatever it may be, may not be the truth. So I, I that's why I always use subjective terminology when describing these things when they come out. So again, there, some of the leaks that you may think of coming in 1.6 may actually not be coming. So uh, just letting you know that don't be disappointed with leaks. Always use leaks with caution. Just letting you know that uh, not everything that was potentially leaked is going to be something that will come out. Come in. All right, hey, boys and girls. Sucrose, chill. We finally got the patch notes. We've been waiting the entire day. Everyone's excited. Let's do this. Patch notes time. All right. I'm excited. You're excited. Everyone's excited. Let's go mute alerts and let's go over them live on Twitch. If you want to join us on Twitch, we always here doing patch notes up. Okay. To ensure travelers have the best possible gaming the internet experience, our developers will soon do that. Okay. The maintenance is going to start on June 9th, 2021 at 6 p.m. UTC. It's going to take five hours. Cool. Same as normal. 6, p uh, 6 9 is... The uh, Lisa birthday, which is Wednesday, okay? Wednesday is when the update is for NA. It starts at 11 a.m. Pacific. Okay, and, it, and that goes all the way till 4 p.m. Pacific. We'll be live on Twitch during that time frame, so if you want to join us, join us there. They're going to add in other things. We're going to get 300 Primo Gems plus 60 Primo Gems per hour every hour the patch, uh, delay has been going on. So that's awesome. Same as normal. Okay, new limited time area. So they have confirmed that the new area with Klee missions and all that the island stuff is going to be completely limited. And after being out of sight for some time, Klee shows up with a mysterious letter in hand. According to the letter, there seems to be some uncharted islands that lie well hidden against the sea. Uh, the area criteria unlocked. Complete Klee story quest for quests. Do it, we have a story quest to do that. We're just going to skip all the rest of this reading. The island's going to be no longer accessible at the end of 1.6. You will be no longer open the treasure chest, gather material. Oh, there are treasure chests. <laughs> that's what I care about. Treasure chests, primo gems. That's where I'm at. Okay. Gather materials or earn request rewards on the island. So make sure to have fun in 1.6. All right. New characters. There is going to be a new Kazawa character. It's going to be an animal character and sword character. We already know about that. And new equipment. It's going to be the Freedom Sword. The Mittershitten's Waltz was the official bow. And the Dodeco Tails was the four-star catalyst. This is the Klee weapon. Uh, new weapon. New gameplay from Seratina Pot. We already know about that. Dressing room is going to be new cosmetics for Barbara and Jean. New event versions. All the fun things here. And that here's the date and times. Okay. So the first... After the 1.6 update, there's going to be a new event. It's going to be starting on the 11th uh, i think it's the wait what happened here wait 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 what wait what why is this all fucking out of whack i think they this is a typo i think this is supposed to be on the 9th or the i think this is like this supposed to be on the line i think this is actually a big typo here all right so this is going to start i uh, probably right away after the event after this goes live just based upon the timings here act two starts on the 11th so i'm assuming the event for the dodoco tales that they're talking for the midsummer island event is going to start on the 9th i'm pretty sure that this is a uh a typo here because i think they just forgot to put the act one thing in and this is when it's supposed to be it's supposed to be this is supposed to be up here this is how long it's open for i'm pretty sure all right uh all right let's see here eligibility there's going to be a new complete the archon quest there's a brand new archon quest it's going to be live in the event you have to do the archon quest called the song of dragon and freedom and the trifilium art act one treasure to unlock this sounds great okay act one main cannon make ready fire so there's gonna be different events going along with those let's get to the stuff we actually care about okay moving on skipping this skipping this skipping this skipping this okay new gadget wind blessed harpastum cool so this is the this is the Ludai Harpastum Festival that we talked about before? Maybe? Maybe this is the Ludai Harpastum Festival that we're talking about, the summer event. I don't know. All right. Um All right, here we go. 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 Things that matter. Okay. Floor 11 disorder changes. Now, originally floor 11 was a big physical damage bump zone. Now, in 1.6, instead of 1.5 for the Fizz domain, it is now going to be increased swirl damage by 300%. 
and boosting the area effect by 100%. As in, your area effect of your swirls is going to be huge. The transfer elements going to be big. So Kazu is going to be a huge buff this time around for Abyss for floor 11. And there's going to be updates to the monster lineup for floors 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we are getting a brand new Spiral Abyss. We will be doing this live on Twitch the day it comes out on the Asia server. So you'll be able to see all the things. And we'll be testing that. So if you want to join us there, they'll be live on Twitch.tv. All right. Uh, they don't know. They don't. They haven't let us know when this is coming out yet. So we'll have to look through it and figure that out. I'm assuming the abyss change will come in on the Friday following this, uh, whenever abyss ends. So this will probably be the first abyss reset after this. Uh, the new patch starts. But I think the abyss resets in like nine days from today, something like that. So we'll have to. We'll have to see. Or seven days. Oh my god. Um, okay. Phase one, the Whirlpool Moon. Okay, this is gonna be the first Abyss buff. When activating a character's trigger swirl reactions on nearby opponents, they will trigger a shockwave that opponent's position and deals AoE damage. An AoE shockwave can trigger in this manner once every 3.5 seconds. So basically, there's a big ass shockwave whenever you swirl. Pog. Okay, phase two. When an active character swirls a, um, triggers a swirl reaction on nearby opponents, they will generate four energy for all party members. So whenever you swirl something, you battery your team for more energy recharge every three and a half seconds. Awesome. Animo character buff, really needed. Awesome. Okay, the third phase, which is the uh, third set of weeks for the Abyss. When an active character swirls a reaction on a nearby opponent, the Bruminous Aura that lasts eight seconds will uh, will be left at the location where the reaction took place. And the Aura will affect, inflict one count of damage to opponents within its... Uh, within it once every two seconds. A Bruminous Aura can be generated once every nine seconds. So it does damage when you swirl and you get an aura that does damage when you swirl and it can be okay basically a, a whole big ass swirl buff okay sounds good animal character pog so make sure you build animal characters like i told you earlier in the patch sucrose is going to be op please make sure that you build your animal characters and if you haven't done so already i told you already told you like at least a month in advance all right going into the next part audio Adds in Japanese voiceovers for certain characters. We're getting Sarantina placement functions and other things. Okay, where's the other day? Okay, here we go into auto lock for four star weapons and stuff. Fast chat stuff. Adjustments, optimizations for Sarantina pot, which is more things here. Where's the stuff we care about? Okay, where's the stuff we care about? Challenge fail display co op mode stuff. Okay, add status markers when teammates are switching party characters in the party preparation screen. Cool. Good to know. Thank you for that. So we don't boot people. And all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Adjust the description for Stormcrest Pie. Increases damage done by Ellen by major reactions. Confirmed buff in 1.6. It is happening. All right. It has been confirmed. It is in the game. We will get a confirmed buff. For Electro and Animo in 1.6, finally fully confirmed it is happening. All right, cool. Electro, Charge, Superconduct, Overload, Swirl, and Shatter are going to be boosted above level 60. It is fully confirmed. Pog is in the game. Increased base shield damage absorption amount and crystallized reaction. Pog. Increases damage bonus provided by elemental mastery for major reactions. It refers to attribute panel for the exact in-game damage of bonus. I wish you provided more details to this, buddy, because this is the thing we really cared about, and I want to know more about this. A lot of people are very excited about this change. They want to know more. Okay, there's some changes to the Seratina pot and other things there, but let's see. Artifact. Four-star artifacts can now be destroyed for Mora. That's interesting. But the artifact transfer that was ta taught about not this is not currently in the patch notes i do not see these in the patch notes so the fabled artifact transfer thing that could have been coming in 1.6 that was a potential leak not a confirmed thing as we mentioned before in many videos potential things that have your artifact transfer is currently not here not a nerf it was never confirmed it was always up in the air artifact transfer is not currently in here and it may have been a fake leak. That's why you always, when when leaks are concerned, you always give them a 50-50 shot of being true. Okay? You never know for sure. Okay? You never know. So, uh, just letting you know, it's not. 
I kind of wish it was here though, because I'd be lit, but I, I do not see them in these patch notes. So don't get mad that they aren't here, okay? It was never confirmed and it was never brought up by MiHoYo officially to be in here. But the uh, but the the big thing that is in here is the, uh, the EM changes, which is cool, cool. So I'm excited for the EM changes. I'm also try excited for crafting and co-op. Being able to do that kind of stuff because I am tired of not being able to craft things in co-op and just have to leave and come back. It's annoying. The swirl buff in Abyss looks really fun. I think it's going to be exciting. And um, I think we're going to have some fun things. Banner information, if it comes out tonight, I'll put another video out tonight to go over it. But if it's not out tonight, I will, of course, put out that, I'll wait on that. But that's going to do it for this video here. Um, my name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.